Now let's take a look at this beautiful vintage Zippo lighter gift box. It is it has been part of my collection for a handful of years, perhaps close to a decade since the early days when I began collecting Zippo lighters as such. The old padding remains. So the reason why I put this out today is because about last week I remembered that I had to remove the flints to prevent it degrading and then to my regret that the lighter fluid can is gone. So I remembered that quite likely at that time I must have had used up the lighter fluid and tossed the can away. Ah damn it I what an what an idiot I was so and thankfully as soon as I realized I have an empty can of lighter fluid at hand nearly tossed to the bin as well so I'm going to salvage it and just going to fill the void with this. As best as I can recall the can that I tossed away was also a black one like this and it, it, it did not have much of a difference than what it is right here so I don't know perhaps maybe maybe it had also been changed at certain point of time. Right let's just have a glance at the at the highlight at the lighter itself being the celebrity and I tell you it is so tough to pull this out. Let me just got to try very hard right now. Ah, finally it has come out of the... Ah, right, this is why I hate doing this so much. Pulling this out from the gift box and thus that's why I seldom do it. Okay, so let's see. This, if I remember correctly, it is a cream matte lighter with the traditional Six screen artwork emblem of the Jack Daniels brand, as well as a portrait of him. Looking at the different texture, which quite convinced me that it was silk screen paint filled in the old school way. J of XIV. If I let me recall 1990s. All right. And the insert of a same year but months apart. This is a brand new unfired unlit a collection piece it's not the common it's not the common Jack Daniels lighter that's in the market I it's kind of harder to find I think so yeah Uh, 
appreciating the histories and the nostalgia of true pieces like this. Noticing that the hinge barrels were also being painted, finished as well. Alright, now I've got to put this back in place. At times, mistakes being made could be inevitable, but once it's done, there is really no point sulking about it. So why not just move on with time and make this set complete. Thank you all so much for following me, following me through this video. I really appreciate so much. If you have any comments, feedback, suggestions or questions, do drop it in the comment section below. Let's have a healthy discussion and sharings from there. As of now guys, do stay safe and have a great one.